good afternoon, good morning, everyone, and uh, appreciate you taking uh, some time out of your schedule uh, to join us to learn a bit more about our Starship Cloud solution. Um, as you're aware, our ship year solution is going to be currently sunset um, in December of 2023. Uh, so we're actively um, reaching out to our customer base um, to allow them to see our Starship Cloud solution and what it can do with the McCullough um, integration. Um, so I'm joined today by Jason Ferguson. Uh, he's our account executive in the McCullough space. Um, Will Oliver is our account manager um, that you might, might be speaking with as well, um, trying to get you over to Starship uh, and helping you with that process. I'm gonna take everyone through a short presentation and then turn it to Jason um, to kind of go walk through a quick demo demonstration of our solution. Uh, and then we'll turn it over for some questions here at the end for, for you. Um, so just a little bit of a background, you know, obviously all of you are aware of who we are, um, where we've come from, um, but for those of you not aware of Starship, um, Starship itself has been around since 1989, um, so really over 33 years of experience in the shipping industry. Um, we have uh, over 40 employees here at V Technologies um, and basically 17 years of experience um, in the McCola space. Um, the McCola integration we do offer um, is essentially all plug and play. Um, so it's not really designed to uh, customize um, or any of that nature. Um, so again, it's just very similar to um, what Shipgear is offering to you today, but with more functionality around it. And we're gonna talk about those here in a minute. <clears throat> so when we look at Starship and we look at the main features of Starship, uh, what it can do, it's really a multi-carrier solution. Um, it's designed to help with your parcel as well as your LTL uh, carrier integrations. Uh, for those of you shipping pallets, right, we can now assist you with that uh, mode. Um, it's really designed to bring all of your accounts uh, into one place um, so you can log into it, process a parcel label, process an LTL bill lading, and get that tracking information back into McCola along with any freight cost. Really uh, looking, help, helping to reduce your freight spend. Um, by having a rate shop feature built in, um, it can easily position what the best option for you is for that particular shipping lane. Um, we also offer you discounted postage rates for those small parcel shipper users that might have lightweight packages going out the door. Um, post office might be advantageous for you to save a little bit of money uh, that many customers are not aware of. We also tie in with many different e-commerce integrations today, um, which you'll see here in a moment as well, um, where we can basically pull in those e-commerce orders directly um, we can also tie in with McCola um, as an extension, right? So we can basically send tracking numbers back to say a Shopify site or a WooCommerce platform, whatever you might be using. So again, if that's of interest, we can talk in more detail as one-offs after the call. Uh, and then lastly here, really simplifying the shipping paperwork. What we often find talking to a lot of users um, is that the front office has a certain um, uh, protocol where they generate all the commercial invoices if it's international, any hazardous forms, um, you know, bill of ladings, and then someone's literally walking it out to the warehouse and dropping it on the shipping desk to put it with a pallet or a box. Um, Starship's really designed to basically um, do all of that for you um, and process those documentations. Um, so it's all together and there's no crisscrossing of those documents for the wrong order. So again, we can, you know, help walk you through those if you have the needs for these different elements that Starship can handle. So when we're looking at migrating to Starship Cloud, these are kind of um, the, the top things that people, you know, ask us all the time, you know, for the most part um, and really are concerned over. Um, so one of the main bullet points, the first one here, all carrier platforms to make it very clear, um, World Ship, Ship Manager, Post Office, any of those are all going to be going away um, when you don't use Ship here any longer, right? When you move to Starship, Starship is the main shipping application. We don't need World Ship to be running um, at all. It ties directly into McCola, and that um, will integrate um, seamlessly for you. Um, all your billing, your pickups will remain the same. Um, Starship uses your negotiated rates with all the carriers for parcel and LTL. The only carriers I mentioned that we provide rates for would be for the post office, um, but nothing changes from a pickup or an invoicing perspective. Um, that all remains the same. Your discounts all remain the same. Um, we work with these carriers very, very closely, um, and we have great partnerships with these carriers that we support today. The other question we get is about UPS digital connections or the CTP program that was formerly known as. 
Um, we do support that in Starship today. Um, we signed a new agreement with UPS recently in March, um, where now we offer you basically a 35% discount um, when they cover you for the two-year contract term. Um, so if they're going to cover you for a full two years on Starship be, uh, by providing you these funds, um, we in turn turn around and give you a 35% discount for both years of your subscription, which is very substantial. Um, so if you are using those funds or looking to use those funds, really highly recommended to take a look at that with your UPS reps. The nice thing with Starship is you're able to log in from anywhere in the world, you know, through a browser, right, and see all of your information. There's no more VPN or remote desktop needed here. Um, this is a URL that's going to be dedicated to your company. Um, you can log in, see all of your shipping history, see all of your reports, track packages, um, whatever you need to do, you'll be able to do it all at your fingertips, essentially, through a URL. And then essentially be able to rate shop, like I said earlier, all your parcel, all of your LTL shipments on one platform, having that visibility with quick access, no longer having the multiple or uh, enter um, your information multiple times in different portals. Everything is at your fingertips, which Jason will show you here in a few moments. <clears throat> so we talked about why converting the Starship Cloud. Um, most of you may have heard about the digital transformation journey that's been going now, probably for the last you know, couple of years or so. Um, so Starship is you know, finally here back in 2020 is when we announced our cloud solution. Uh, it's a true multi-tenant solution, right? Running up in the Microsoft Azure environment. Um, it's really designed to reduce IT expenses. Shipgear today is, you know, um, obviously everyone's worried about upgrades, right? Um, so again, that Shipgear server is removed, right? Uh, we don't have any more updates to worry about. Starship automatically updates on its own. Um, we typically do any updates once a quarter. Um, but they usually happen in the middle of the night, right, when it's not impacting your business. So when you come in in the morning and log in, everything is already done. There's nothing, you won't even really know anything's happened. Um, it's essentially um, done its own upgrade for you without you having to worry about, you know, paying for that or paying an outside firm to help you do that. Um, we're always on the latest version. Um, so again, with those constant updates, you'll never have to worry about being on an older version of Starship. We allow access to unlimited users and unlimited carrier interfaces. So that's one of the benefits of our cloud solution. So you don't have to worry about user restrictions any longer, carrier interfaces, all 25 potentially um, that we support here in Starship will be provided to you um, if you sign up for parcel and LTL shipping. Um, and then you can also manage your seasonality. A lot of you might be seasonal shippers. So the nice thing is you can play with your plans like any online subscription. So you might up your plan for the busy season and then bring the plan back down in the slow season. Uh, and then also the nice thing here is we allow you to restrict access to certain users in your organization um, and provide you know, certain functions. So you may not want um, the shipper um, to have say full administrative rights where they can change plans at any given time. Um, or the front office may not be able to ship packages. They may be able to rate shop. Um, so again, you have that full uh, administrative right to provide that access to certain users in the uh, company um, you're representing. This is just a quick slide to show you the various integrations we support uh, from a carrier perspective. So again, you can see roughly about 25 different carriers, a couple 3PLs that we support here. Again, we always mention if a carrier is not represented here, it doesn't mean we can't assist you. Um, there are options we can talk to you about uh, providing you with a bill lading for a specific carrier or maybe even a parcel label. So definitely speak with Jason or Will um, or myself, and we're happy to answer any of those questions you have on carriers. And then just a quick slide here on the uh, integrations we offer from an e-commerce perspective. Um, we have a variety of e-commerce, mainly the main ones, uh, your Shopify's, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, Amazon's, uh, all of those are supported. We can write tracking information back, update statuses. Um, so if you are using any of these, please let us know. We're happy to talk to you about those integrations as well. And then lastly, for me here, before I turn it to Jason, you all have gotten probably a notice by now um, uh, that effective on 10-1, which is a few weeks away, um, that we are um, increasing our ship gear pricing. Uh, I wanna make it clear, this is not Starship pricing, this is ship gear pricing. What you currently are paying on the left um, and what you will be paying on the right um, is coming up on 10-1. Um, so you can see there is a significant increase in pricing. Um, and basically here, again, even though it's going away, um, the pricing here on the ship gear side has been uh, priced pretty low for many, many years. Um, and as they have done their research and realized other solutions in the marketplace and where they're headed, um, you know, these price increase is sort of coming 
uh, at a time where everything else is going up for everyone as well. Uh, but there's also added cost for us to keep maintaining the servers running um, for our customer base. Um, so that increased cost along with the market conditions has driven this pricing way up on us. Um, so therefore, when you see the Starship pricing, you will see that there's a benefit to potentially moving you to a competitive solution at this point um, with our Starship Cloud. And we're happy to present pricing once we have a conversation with you and, and talk to you about your needs. And I'm gonna turn it to Jason now to kind of walk through a quick demo with you and then we'll turn it over for any questions. So Jason. Thank you, Simon. So hi everyone, my name is uh, Jason here um, and I'm gonna be running through a demonstration of Starship for you. As Simon has mentioned, Starship does have a direct integration with Macora. What that means is that whenever you have a sales order created within Macora, Starship will automatically pull that into our Starship application, which is what you are seeing here. This screen is essentially going to display all your orders that are ready to be shipped. So you can filter this list on any of these columns up above. You can filter on any of these columns or you can come in and type in that sales order number to bring that sales order to the top of the page. Once you do find that order that you wanna process, your first step is hitting this truck icon here. What you're gonna see is that all the shipment information is gonna appear on one screen for you. As Simon mentioned, Starship replaces the need to jump into UPS Roadship or FedEx Ship Manager. You would process all your orders right through this screen here. So moving at the top, you notice the first thing we're gonna do is just cross-reference, make sure we do have the correct sales order that we wanna process. Next, we have our sender ID. This is gonna be where the package reads that it's coming from. And then on the top right, Starship does do an address validation for you. So it's gonna let you know if it's a business address or a residential address. And it's also gonna let you know if it has a loading dock or not. Next, if you jump into the transportation section, on my sales order, I did put down that this was for UPS shipment. So you'll notice that Starship defaults to my UPS account. With that, it erases any need for manual entry since everything's already there. Now, Starship does support third-party shipping. So if you do bill on your customer's account, we can store those account numbers within Starship to automate that process as well. If you jump into the shipment details, these are all additional features that can be turned on per shipment. So we have insurance, handling fee, quantum view notifier, just to name a few. Anything that you see within here, it can be automated to be turned on for every shipment, or you can have the shipper manually come in here on a shipment basis and toggle these on and off. And then we have our packaging. So as you can see, I have each item going inside each specific box. Um, something that Starship allows you to do is you can actually save a preset list of all your package dimensions. So you click down on this down icon and you choose the box that you want to shift with and you notice all the dimensions have changed. To add an additional package, you hit this box icon here and it'll bring down a third package for you. And then next we have line items. So essentially what this means is Starship will pull all the corresponding information with that specific item. So it's gonna bring in the value, it can bring in the rate. If you're shipping LTL within Starship, it can save the NMFC code, the group class. If you're shipping international rate, it can save the Schedule B code. So that way you don't have to manually come in here and input that information every time. And then last but not least, as Simon mentioned, we do have a rate shop feature. Essentially what this is, it's, it's going to display all your, your negotiated rates on one page for you. So what the shipper can do is they can compare and contrast. They can look at the total transit times, or they can look at the total cost um, and choose whatever service best meets their needs. Now contract charges here, this is gonna represent what the carrier is gonna bill you. We also have an applied charges column here. And it essentially what this is, applied charges takes into consideration what we call freight rules. In other words, freight rule is a markup. 
In my example here, I have a 10% markup and I write back the applied charges back on my Makura in sales order. But assuming it looks good and you want to process the shipment from here, you just hit ship and process down below. What Starship would do is Starship's going to print the labels for you. And then it's also going to write back into Makora for all that information. So just to give you a quick view of what the shipping label looks like, we have it here on the left hand side. This is called a smart label where the shipping label and the packing list appear on the same page. Um, you can certainly print it out this way. You can only print out the uh, shipping label if you want to, or you can print these documents on two separate documents if that would be your preference. And then next, if you jump into Makora, I can give you an example of what the right back looks like. So if we jump into that sales order that I just processed. You're going to head to the header comments level. And if you select that, you'll be able to see that Starship just wrote back all this information when I process that shipment. It lists the carrier, the date it was shipped on, estimated delivery date what items were, in, were inside the package, and then you also have tracking information listed here. You can also go to the billing section. You can see that the freight cost was written back as well, and your total charge down below. So that's essentially how you process a UPS shipment very simple. And last but not least, before I pass it back off to Megan, I'm just going to give you an example of our dashboard. So what you're about to see, this does come out of the box. First thing you're going to notice is, is that we do have a heat map for you. This is great because a lot of teams, they like to see where we're shipping to most frequently, where we're not shipping to. So this is a quick glance for them to see. You can also add additional columns or reports on the right hand side. We have an additional reporting section where anything you see within here, you can generate a report and then export it out of Starship. And then we also have an e-notify tool within Starship. Um, what this is, is it's going to send out an automated email to the client with the tracking number attached. What you see here is a template, so this is customizable. You can throw your company header up top. You can put a promo code encouraging users to go back on your website on the bottom. Um, what's most important is, is that we're gonna send this email out with a hyperlink to UPSs or FedEx or whoever the carrier web page is. So that way your customers can track their own shipment from there. So that's essentially Starship and how you would process a UPS shipment. Yeah, so we do just want to, you know, kind of thank you for joining us, you know, this afternoon um, or morning, uh, wherever you might be. Um, <clears throat> but again, um, we put up Jason and Will's contact information here for you. Um, so feel free to reach out to either um, of them uh, for any other questions you have. They will be following up with you after the webinar today uh, to get um, more details and, and some uh, information over to you if you are interested in moving over to Starship. Uh, but we are running a special promotion. We've sort of been running this promotion really all quarter. Um, it does expire at the end of September. Um, be, being a loyal Shipgear user, um, and as a thank you, we're offering kind of a 25% discount on your first year of subscription uh, when you do move over to Starship Cloud. Um, but again, you do need to either activate your license, which doesn't give you much time here because we're about two weeks away, or pay for services. Either of those two, you'll get the 25% promo code. Um, unfortunately, we do not have any promotions that we have been made aware of yet for um, after 930. Um, we should be hearing something I'm hoping next week um, on that um, if we're going to continue uh, an offering a promotion or a ship gear conversion. So again, I would definitely take advantage while it lasts um, if you can, um, or we can provide you our standard pricing um, as well, what that looks like after October. So. Uh, again, we definitely appreciate your time um, and uh, I'll turn it to Jason for any final comments, but I'd just like to say thank you again. Yeah, so thank you everyone as well. Um, me and Will will be following up, so we look forward to speaking to you guys then.